Welcome to August Lico Challenge. Today's problem is 2 sum 4. Input is a BST. Given the root of a binary search tree and a target number k, return true if there exists two elements in the BST such that their sum is equal to the given target. So it's a typical 2 sum problem. We want to find out if there's two node values that sum up to our given target. So there's really no reason to complicate this. Uh, we're going to use the typical approach to carry a hash map. We're going to use a hash map and using the equation x plus y equals k, we're going to keep track of everything that we've seen while we traverse our binary search tree and see if we ever can find uh, the value k minus x inside of our set or hash. We'll use a set here. Um, so basically what we do is uh, first check to see if this value y, which is going to be k minus x, is inside the set. And if it is, that means we've seen the value that we need to pair this value with to get our target number k. So what we'll do is create a lookup here. Uh, this will be a default dict. And we'll have integers. And we're just going to do a typical depth first search, pass in the node. So if not node, we just return. But what do we want to return here? We want to return true or false, whether the pair exists or not, right? So let's make sure to turn it false here. Uh, now what we'll do is say, uh, well, let's calculate the y, um, the y that we're trying to look for. So this would be y equals k minus node.value, right? So if y is in our L, that means we could find the pair for this so we can return a true. Uh, otherwise, we should add our value uh, not the y though, the node.value into our set. So we'll add node.value and then we'll keep traversing the DFS node.left and we'll say or DFS node.right. So as long as one of these is true, that means we could find a pair, right? So all we have to do then is return the depth for search with the root and this should work. This should be it. Oops, if y is. Well, it's not in y in. And that's my fault again. We don't need a default dict. We just need to use a set. Okay, so it looks like it's working. So let's go ahead and submit it. And accepted. So time complexity wise, we're going to worst case be O of n because we'll traverse through every single node and we'll have the same amount of space O of n because of our set. So it's really not any different than how we would solve a typical two-sum problem. Uh, it's just that we're traversing a binary search tree this way. Okay, everything else remains the same. Thanks for watching my channel. And remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.